Hey everybody, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Forecast. My name is Terence Scardino. The week begins on Monday, October the 28th, 2024. This is going to be a very active week with some very important uh, planetary events. And we're going to have a new moon in Scorpio on Friday, November the 1st. We have a new moon every four weeks. The new moon always sets our intention into a new direction for those next four weeks. But because this new moon is on Friday, which marks the beginning of a new cycle, the week before a new moon is when the last new moon energies is wrapping up bringing closure, winding down, or it's a holding pattern, waiting for the next energy to start being active, being activated. So you don't want to be making, in most cases, really important life decisions um, with the new moon when you're the week before the new moon. So this Monday through Thursday, that lunar energy is winding down. It would be after Friday that the new moon energies is gearing up for a new direction. And that is generally when you should start to initiate important new projects. Starting with Monday, the 28th, the moon is in work-oriented, analytical, sensible Virgo. And ambitious, assertive Mars is in harmony with Neptune. Mars, Neptune, you could be doing charity work, spiritual work, um, uh, doing doing matters, uh, doing things that make matters in life, it matters to you, um, uh, trying to go after more fulfilling activities. And Venus at the same time through Monday, Venus, the planet of relationships, can also be associated with finances, but Venus is going to be squaring or in a challenging aspect to responsible taskmaster Saturn. So Venus to Saturn, this on Monday, could be testing relationships, but it can also be a time when you're really concerned and focused about your finances or your cash flow. On Tuesday, we wake up and the moon is now in Libra. Virgo, when the moon was in Virgo, uh, the moon goes from sign to sign every two and a half days. When the moon was in Virgo, it's more work-oriented, much more practical and sensible. But when we go into once a month the moon in Libra, Libra tends to compel more um, sociability, more compromise, um, more seeking win-win situations. Now, there's no planetary events on Tuesday, so it's going to be maybe pretty much could be the calmest day of the week. There's a lot of excitement during the week, but also a lot of stress. Um, so Tuesday is a calming period. Wednesday, the 30th, as the moon continues in Libra, that is seeking harmony and balance, decision-making Mercury, discerning Mercury in intense, passionate Scorpio will be in opposition to innovative, rebellious Uranus. This happens about once a year. Um, on the positive, you could be getting exciting news or you have to make maybe make some sudden decisions. But it could also be when you're hearing about information that could be very stressful, creating a lot of nervousness or you're being forced to make, you know, these sudden unexpected changes. Thursday, Halloween in the United States on October 31st. The moon continues in fair-minded, sociable Libra in the morning, but the, sun, the moon it will be changing signs and moving into Scorpio at 1029 a.m. 
Pacific time. In fact, Scorpio is perfect for Halloween because Scorpio rules the great, the occult, the great mysteries of life. Now, the, before the moon goes into Scorpio um, at 10.29 a.m., the moon will be in a stressful angle to impatient Mars and dark Pluto, more like mid-morning Pacific time. So it could be a lot of emotional tension and stress. And then the moon goes into Scorpio. Scorpio tends to want to just retreat, be more private, more secretive. But Mercury, communication discerning Mercury, will be in harmony with idealistic, empathetic Neptune. So the day begins very stressful, but it ends now very favorably. Now Mercury to Neptune can also be perfect for Halloween because what is on our mind, what we're trying to communicate with Neptune is really expanding our imagination. Um, and so dressing up in costumes, that's one positive outlet. But this is also a time of being more intuitive, more compassionate. As we go into Friday, December, uh, November the 1st, and we're having the new moon in Scorpio. The new moon sets our attentions to a new, a new focus, depending on how that impacts your sign. But this, and Scorpio can trigger overall a lot of endings and new beginnings, powerful changes. Fortunately, this Scorpio new moon will be trined or very favorably supported by realistic, pragmatic Saturn. So what's setting the stage for November, starting November 1st with the new moon, is keeping us more grounded, more practical, very, much, uh, um, very good from all kinds of business matters, or feeling more secure and confident. On Saturday, the 2nd, the moon continues in Scorpio, but discerning Mercury, the first half of the day, Pacific time, will be in harmony with Mars. Mars is uh, aggressive, assertive, ambitious, Mercury decision-making the mind, Mercury in harmony with Mars. We're making all kinds of confident, decisive decisions and then for the rest of the day, for most of the day, as the Mercury is pulling away from fiery, aggressive, competitive Mars, it's going, the Mercury will then be in harmony, called a sextile, to Pluto. Pluto rules the underworld. Pluto, therefore, is the ruler of Scorpio. Mercury to Pluto can trigger some really profound discussions, thinking, great for studying, great for researching. And by around noon Pacific time, Mercury, communication Mercury, that for the past several weeks had been in private, more compulsive Scorpio, goes into Sagittarius. It's going to be in Sagittarius for a couple of months because it's going to retrograde on the end of November uh, keeping Mercury, you know, going back and forth in the sign of Sag. S Mercury, what is on our mind overall? What are we thinking about? What are we discussing? Sagittarius, it tends to be more, um, more outgoing, more adventurous, more, um, more positive. And Sagittarius can, is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter, so that Jupiter influence with the Mercury for the next two months, we could be really focused on traveling or education or publishing and marketing. That has a lot to do with what's on our minds for the next two months. And on Sa Sunday, November the 3rd, as the moon continues in adventurous, optimistic Sagittarius, ambitious, assertive Mars will be opposite Pluto. 
that can trigger a lot of competitive, compulsive, could even be triggering a lot of manipulation. Um, it's a really intense energies, but it's softened with the Venus, pleasure-seeking, harmonious Venus, will be interacting with lucky, expansive Jupiter. The only thing you want to wor worry about or be aware that Mars-Pluto can be really compulsive and Venus-Jupiter can be overly indulgent. So in Sagittarius, the moon's in Sagittarius and you're feeling really optimistic in general about everything. So you could be, um, some of you might be finding yourself overindulging from spending too much money, drinking too much alcohol, eating too much desserts and sugar. But it's probably with moon, with the Venus and the Jupiter, you're celebrating, you're entertaining, you're really enjoying the good life. But that Mars Pluto, you might be a little bit too compulsive about too much of a good thing. I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe and well.